Hi everyone, my name is Alexis Decker, and for my senior capstone proposal presentation, um, the project name is Innovative Creativity, Redefining Creativity with AI. And so I graduated from James Campbell High School, and I'm a four-year student at the University of Hawaii at Western Oahu. I am majoring in creative media with a concentration in general creative media. And for the executive summary, for my senior capstone project, I plan on delivering a website survey and an artist workshop where I invite other artists to join me within my personal journey exploration. And I conducted my research to see in depth how AI has affected the art community and why, learning how AI um, art came to be. And the significance of my proposed project is to understand why artists may have concerns over AI and to find um, the improvement in both AI and artists so that the two may have an ethical way of collaborating. And for my thesis statement, as art and creativity continues to evolve over the years, the battle between AI-generated art and human-made art has concerned the art community on AI creativity, ethics, and artist expression. For my object, um, objective and rationale for why I chose this topic was because as an artist in the Instagram art community, I have seen how big of a riot AI has affected the community. Most of the time I've seen the sides of either being um, for or against AI art, and I haven't seen not too many people talking about like the middle ground of it. And so I wanted to explore three topics within my research, how AI art came to be, um, the impacts of it in the creative field or art community, and if there is a way to bring what others perceive as uh, a negative to a positive for everyone. After researching and learning that AI damages um, artists' integrity by allowing room for deception on claiming originality on artworks, a question had came to mind. Can AI and AI-generated art help an artist improve their art and skills, or is it something that uh, artists should not use due to artist integrity. And for my senior capstone plans, I plan on delivering a website survey and an artist workshop within my personal journey exploration with reflections as my project. The first part of my project would be a website where I would hold a public survey. Um, so the survey would include my personal artworks and AI generated renditions of my art with a variety of questions such as, which artwork is AI or not? Why do you believe it is AI or not? And which artwork do you believe is better and why? After revealing which drawing is AI, there will be follow-up question on, what, do, what does the AI do better than the human-made art? And what does the human-made art uh, do better than the AI? The results from this poll will be my baseline data where I will find patterns and correlations to find the solution to the questions, how can artists incorporate AI or AI art into their artwork without compromising uh, artist integrity? So after gathering the data from the surveys, I will create an artist workshop, uh, inviting around a minimum of five intermediate uh, level artists to follow along with what I am learning in my personal journey exploration. So five um, intermediate level would kind of be around five to 10 years of drawing on a consistent um, basis, being either self-taught or went to school just so that they have like that um, style that they already like. And so it be, might, might be like a little bit easier for them to do it rather than a beginner. And artists would be given the same drawing prompt to draw their own style of illustrations without the help of AI in the beginning. So then artists, uh, their artworks will be compared to an AI generated artwork with the same prompt. Uh, meetings will be held via media options such as Discord, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams. We will then discuss what the AI art did better or worse in comparison to the human made artworks, discuss the creative, the creative process between, between the different artists, and discuss the troubles artists may have had while drawing the prompt either like composition, lighting, proportions, or just their thought process. And then after that meeting, artists will be then given a different prompt to draw again, but will be allowed to use AI as a tool. 
So AI will be used as a tool for artists to get um, the specific references and supplements in their art. Rather than using AI art to edit or use as just the finished work, can it be more useful to help artists create their own artwork? The, the finished art piece will still be drawn all by the artists themselves without implementing any AI generated parts physically within the illustration. And then there will be a final meeting um, to discuss how things might have been different uh, using that AI as a supplemental tool. So for the final part of my plan, I wanted to conclude the artist workshop um, with a reflection survey to complete. Some of the questions that might be on that survey might be, how did you feel about the workshop? Did the workshop help you or not in your personal journey? What did you gain from the workshop? And did you see a growth in your art and creativity skills? And some of the more ethical questions might be, did you feel like using AI as a tool for your art felt like cheating, why or why not? Did you feel like using AI as a tool lessens an artwork's creative vision and its originality? Did you feel, or did you see as a potential, did you see AI as a potential tool for artists? And would you use AI as a helper or a tool when creating another art piece, why or why not? And for my significance, as more people adopt the use of AI um, in the art community, some artists may view AI as a threat to their careers. AI may possess challenges to the artistic role of human artists and their values of expression and creativity. For, for future implications, AI generator art may become more prevalent and needed for their quick generation of fully illustrated renditions. If AI generated art becomes more in demand and or valued in the art market, human artists may feel the need to convert to AI to stay relevant in the art community or market. And for this, um, for my data number one, I wanted to show these graphs and um, for just to show like how quick AI took off. So it took around uh, 149 years for photography to reach around 15 billion photos, while it only took 1.5 years for AI generated images to reach the same estimated amount, showing just how quick AI has grown in popularity. And then on the right, that graph basically shows um, the, the different types of AI systems that people mostly used. So in significance number two, many people argue that AI generated artworks cannot be classified as real art as, as it is machine made and does not have human made elements to an art piece. AI generators should also use a, or AI generators also use a large data set of information and images to generate those um, artworks, which may, which many include existing art from human artists. The issue with AI art in the art community might increase, might increasingly get worse with more in use and publication. Artists who not agree with AI may keep or worsen the idea of using using AI in a variety of art forms such as drawing videos and music, causing more of that rift within the community. With the use of images and existing art to train AI systems, this concerns the privacy rights, consent, and copyright issues within that AI data set. And so in my data number two, I found some statistics online and some um, more like surveys. So 65% of artists have used text-to-image AI to brainstorm new ideas, and 74% of artists say that they believe AI work to still be um, unethical. And sorry, I have to move this. And 60% of artists say that um, they believe that AI will become a common tool for art creation in the future. And 78% of graphic designers reported that they state they started using that AI-based tools in 2020 to enhance their work. So many artists have already accepted AI as an art tool, but uh, others still argue that it might be unethical to use. If AI systems could find more of an ethical way to source their images for their data set, um, maybe AI uh, generators may be more widely acceptable from, from human artists and art enthusiasts. 
For my plans target audience, my targeted audience for my proposed project are artists from, from Instagram with an intermediate level of drawing. Those can include men and women in the age range of 18 to 30 years old, a variety of art styles ranging from anime, realism, or cartoon, and artists will consist of either digital or traditional art. So for my proposed solution, one of the first AI art systems was intended to supplement as an expansion tool of the user's current knowledge rather than only being able to be used uh, for its ability. So Aaron, made by um, Harold Cohen, uh, could be seen as more of an art creation expert system, though Cohen somewhat rejected that. He said, because the program serves as a research tool for the expansion of my own expert knowledge, rather than to encapsulate that knowledge for the use of others, um, can we, you know, uh, follow that vision Cohen had for artists, uh, for Aaron in the past, for present times? So I found this quote to be interesting, as most of the time AI generated art is used as that that final art piece rather than like going through the creative process, trying to figure out how to, oh, how can I change this artwork that was generated? How can I um, use this more as a tool? So if we saw how Cohen saw his own creation, um, could that be more acceptable for artists to use AI as a tool um, to not damage their integrity? So artists could use AI or AI generated art as a supplement and a tool in their creative process and artwork rather than solely relying on AI's outcome images. When using AI as a tool, artists won't have to worry about compromising their integrity. They can still remain true to that um, artistic vision and style that they want. So just as artists can look at other artists' artwork and gain inspiration from them, they they would use that inspiration and their um the artist's artwork as more of a reference, and so AI could be personalized and AI could be a personalized and quick way to gain reference for an artist's creative thought process. So for my plans preparation, um, I want to take a uh, two month for my pre process for uh during summer break. This time I would be used setting up the website using Wix.com, creating that survey, and planning for the website and survey and advertisement. I would also research which AI generator machine to use and which one might be best for me and the other the other artists. And there would be a preliminary organization of the artist workshop. For production, I would like to take at least one month um, to open the website and survey during September to gather as much data as I can. And there would be 1.5 months of production for the artist workshop, maybe around like October and November. So there would be two weeks for drawing the first prompt. Um, after that would be one week of planning and holding that group meeting. And then there would be another two weeks for drawing the second prompt so that the first prompt has um, the same amount of time. And then 1.5 week of planning and holding that last group meeting. And for my post, this would be the uh, the reflection survey time and the and completing the deliverable. So I would take one point five weeks for allowing artists to from the workshop to complete that reflection survey, and I would also gather that data. So for my deliverable, I want to share my website's uh, my website survey findings and correlations with the artists completing the workshop. I would like to create a book portfolio of the collection of data and artworks with the artist's permission. I would showcase my original art without the help of, and use of AI as a tool. Then I would showcase the same original art supplemented with AI as an art tool. And the final reflection survey will be a consensus, consensus of those who have attended the workshop on what they think of um, AI as a tool. So the first image um, was my was more of like a sketch, but in the direction that I kind of wanted to go. So this was my original art without um, AI's help. And on the right, the far right, we see that uh, I took my image and I put it in an AI generator to see what might like 
come out from that? How how it might look look differently in the different art style? And then I would take that those images and I would kind of look closely at what I did different and what they did different. And then I would take reference and implement it into my um my final art piece. So this is more of just a, a close up and um showing that I've went through different images. I went through at least um six or eight images, but I decided to use three to show you. So the first one had more of a, a different style than the last two, more of a QT style. And then the last two had more more like refined details and specifically what I wanted to look for to help me um, better my art was to look specifically at the folds in the drawings. And so I took those last two and I looked closely at the, the shading, the lighting, the composition, and just the folds so that I could try to better improve my final artwork. So thank you for listening and watching my presentation. Do you have any questions?